Good morning, today's lesson is 5.1. Today we are gonna model factors. Our essential question, how can you use models to find factors? Let's unlock the problem. A factor is a number multiplied by another number to find a product. Every whole number greater than one has at least two factors, that number and one. So for example, 18 has one and 18. Seven has seven and one. 342 has 1 and 342. Many numbers can be broken down into factors in a different ways. 16 can be broken down into 1 times 16, or 4 times 4, or 2 times 8. So our activity is to model and record the factors of 24. So use all the 24 tiles to make as different, many different arrays as you can and record the arrays in the grid and then write down the factors that are modeled. So 2 times 12, so we've got 2 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 2 times 12 is 24. So the factors on that would be 2 and 12. And there's, again, there's, tw so there's 24 squares inside here. So two times 12 is 24. So one, two, 12 across, and it makes the 24 squares on the inside. So now if we're gonna try and find all of the rays, I would start by first doing the one. So it's gonna be one by 24. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So this is a one by 24. So my factors are gonna be one and 24 and one times 24, one times 24 equals 24. We've already done two. We've already got the two times, um, two times 12 there. So now let's try three. So I'm just going in order. So one, two, three. And how many would I need to do? I would need to go over eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I were to count inside here, I would have 24 squares because three times eight is 24. So three times eight is 24. This is why we were memorizing our multiplication chart over break. So now let's try four and let's see if four goes into it. So four, one, two, three, four. Well, I know that four times six is 24. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So if I were to count these up, I would have 24 squares. So four times six is also 24. Um, so again, the factors over here are one and 24, three and eight, and then four and six. So then if I were to write all the factors, we know that it was one and 24. We had two and 12. And then right here we had three and eight, and we had four and six. So two factors that make a product are sometimes called a factor pair. How many factor pairs does 24 have? Well, the factor pairs that it has is actually four. And the factor pairs were one and 24, um, two and 12, three and eight, and then four and six. So it has one, two, three, four factor pairs. Because if I multiply one times 24, I get 24. I multiply two times 12, I get 24. Three times eight is 24, and four times six is 24. So those are all my factor pairs. Okay, the next problem wants us to use the arrays to name the factors of 12. So they've already drawn out for us. So this is one, by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So one times twelve is twelve. And you can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoops. Um ah, it's not going in there. But if you count them, there are twelve of them. Alright, so this next one is three, because like I've got one, two, three. So it's three times one, two, three, four. And again, if I were to count the insides. I would get one, whoops, I would get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So three times four is twelve. This one is one, two, so it's two on here, times one, two, three, four, five, six. So two times six is twelve, and again, if I were to count these little boxes up, I would have twelve boxes. 
So my factors of 12 are 1 and 12, 2 and 6, Oh, well, they've already got the 6 there, and then 3 and 4. So my factors are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Okay, the next question says, use the tiles to find all the factors of the product and record the arrays and then write the factors shown. So for 5, well, the only thing that makes 5 is 1 times 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there's my array. And so 1 and 5 is my factors, because 1 times 5 equals 5. There's no other combination I can make. But now for 20, I can make a couple of different combinations. I'm going to start with my 1. So 1 times 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 1 times 20. So 1 and 20. I can do 2, because I know 2 goes into it, and it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And again, I know this because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So my arrays need to equal this number 20. So again, that was 2 times 10, so 2 and 10. Uh, 3 does not go into it evenly, but 4 does. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and I know 4 times 5 is 20. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, and again, there's going to be 20 in there when I count them. So my, and my other array is going to be 4 and 5. 6 does not go into it, 7 doesn't go into it, 8 doesn't, 9 doesn't. So that's it. Those are my factors. 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. Okay, so I'm hoping that we really looked at our multiplication charts because that's really, really going to help us with this. Um, let's do 25. So we are going to do 1 first because we know 1 always goes into the number. So 1, and then I'm going to go over to 25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Wait, I think that's where it goes. Okay, so my first array is 1 and 25. Um, the only other thing that can go into it is 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I know this because I have my multiplication charts memorized. If you need to, you can borrow the little charts that we had um, for the last lessons. So 5 times 5 is 25. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this array is 5 times 5. And if I were to count these, I would get 25 little squares. So my factors are 1, 5, and 25. I don't need to write 5 tw twice because you only need to write the factor the one time. Even though this is 5 times 5, you only need that one 5. Okay. So let's do a few of the on-your-own ones. I'm just going to do this one. Um, so I would just list them out. I know that 1 times 9 is 9. And I also know, and you can look. You can take the little number chart and you can kind of go across. Actually, I'm going to show you a number chart right now. Let me finish this one first and then I want to show you a number chart. The other thing I know is 3 times 3 is 9. So 1, 3, and 9 are going to be my factors. I'm actually going to have you do 6, 7, and 8 on your own. Um, and then you're going to do Think Central today. But I do want to show you a number chart. So hold on one second. So here's a little multiplication chart. So I can look, so for example, this number 9, here's 9, and I know the factors are 3 and 3, and then I also have, um, this does, oh, it does go to 9, so it has 9, which is 9 times the 1, I know it's kind of hard to see this chart, and then the other one is, so 3 times 3, and then 1 times 9, so that's it, those are my factors, 1, 3, and 9, so let's say, uh, this next one, well, I don't want to do that one because you already have that one, but let's just say 12 is one of them. So if 12 is one of them, then I'm going to go on my chart. I'm going to find 12. So here's 12. So the factors are 1 and 12. And then there's also a 12 under 4. And the factors are 4 and 3. Okay, and then the other one, so here's my last 12. 
and the factors are 2 and 6. Right, so using the multiplication chart that you had from uh, previous chapters could help you. Um, we can also put it in a clear plastic bin if you want to kind of go over to it, so make sure that you get the right ones. All right, so again, I want you to do 6 and, let me move this out of the way, I want you to do 6, whoops, 6, all right, so I want you to do 6, 7, and 8 on your own, and then I'm going to have you do Think Central, and there's five problems in Think Central. All right, good luck, and if you need me, I'll be on the carpet.